first of all, Angus, where do you see commodities prices, especially gold and oil, going in the short term? Well, they've fallen quite significantly. I think in the short term, maybe a little bit of support, in particular for oil prices. You know, they've had a considerable drop in recent weeks. And whilst fears over global growth are sort of the main driver behind that, uh, also fears that OPEC will probably not reduce production and their sort of you know, these theories that they're actually trying to push oil prices lower unfounded but um, they are going you know through the market at some point oil prices will find support and it looks like they found a bit of a support level because it will inject quite a good bit of a stimulus into the global economy in particular, the U.S. are going to be benefit hugely from lower oil prices. It's going to be great for consumer confidence at this time of year, of course. Very important for Western economies as we head towards the festive period of Christmas. You know, people will feel a little bit better about themselves with oil prices lower. They'll have a little bit more sparer, more money in their pocket. And it means that they'll probably go out and spend a little bit more over the Christmas period. So as we run up into that uh, festive season towards the end of this year, a, a slightly richer consumer will help with uh, lower oil prices or benefit from lower oil prices. And that could in turn mean that we're, we're at a level where oil prices will remain for some time and possibly even just edge a little bit higher. And Looking at uh, Japan, the global markets seem to have loved the Bank of Japan's decision to print more money. And will that go a long way to kick-starting a stuttering Japanese economy? Well, it's difficult because obviously the Bank of Japan really, it was a measure that was expected, but it came sooner, which has caused the sort of spike in dollar-yen and the spike of volatility that resulted in big spike in equities, of course, as well. But really what they're doing is paving the way for more fiscal measures uh, from Abe. So, you know, we're expecting a sales tax hike, another one in the near future. And, and, and so the stimulus is trying to sort of counteract that. But what, one thing that is certain is that uh, a lot of investors may be underestimated just the, you know, how much uh, the Bank of Japan is committed to really trying to inflate the Japanese economy. And of course, if you inject a bit of inflation, then hopefully that means that businesses will increase wages for their employees, they'll invest more, and in turn give a boost to the Japanese economy.